I remember them sitting, standing me up on a chair in front of the church service and handing me a tambourine and having me sing a hymn. I always feel like there's something in my heart that compels me to sing with people. And I, I desperately crave it to be a heart to heart. And I think it is. I think that's why we all love music, why we're all drawn to it. I formed the Queen City Band because it was my attempt to do something authentic. And we had always wanted to start a band together. It kind of started out with some friends of ours just putting some things together, tossing around ideas. They said they were starting up this other thing. I remember they told me what the kind of vision they were going for was, what they want to do with it. And it sounded really interesting, so I was into it. It was one of those kind of mutual admiration society things where I knew every player and like was fans of the different bands they were in and obviously I admired Crystal tremendously. We just hit it off right away and after the first five minutes it was like, yeah, this is, this is good. One thing was is we kind of went backwards where instead of playing a bunch of shows, getting our songs together and then recording, we kind of wrote our record and then recorded and then booked the, our first couple gigs. Trying to make that, that first album, that was really, really frustrating because you're like every week or you're doing like double times a week to like just trying to get it down and I guess like taking it to the sh woodshed, like just trying to work it out. We're taking risks melodically, musically. We're, you know, the guys in this band push themselves and I think I respect that the most, honestly. So then we finished the record, all of a sudden we get this news that the people who we were working with weren't really, really thrilled with our product. They wanted to shelve it. And that was really rough. They wanted to do one thing, I wanted to do another thing. I immediately went, I gotta get out of this. It just threw this whole ugly wrench into the scenario where, you know, the people who are supposed to be supporting you are the ones who are really holding you back. By having to buy the record back from um from a record label is a uh, big pain in the ass. That was a sore spot for a long time. It was buying our freedom, basically. People stepped up in all sorts of different ways, and everybody made a real, real meaningful contribution, and I think that was a great triumph. We wrote the song Better Way on that night. It was literally a response to the shootings in Ferguson. You're killing so, so for your sin. Content. Keep your angry walls within Cause you're just me, man I say you're just me, I think we just started talking about it during rehearsal Just asking a question of ourselves and each other And knowing that like all the things that we're facing There's got to be something better that we can kind of come to the, the emotion behind the instrumental is really coming out of really trying to just lay a foundation or, or a, a feel. If I remember correctly, that song kind of came out of just a jam. Crystal had an idea for a melody, and we just kind of ran with that. Different things start happening, and ideas start flying back and forth, and all of a sudden you have a song. And then having the opportunity to bring Bugs the Rocker in and express his emotion and the, the stage that Crystal set for him, and, and just again, that collaboration. It's okay to like take chances, it's okay to try things, it's okay to, to listen before you speak. And so it's just like keeping that going, opening up that dialogue and giving a little something to it to help make it better, a better way.